Soludo pays the price after Otomeje was beaten mercilessly and thrown to a dirty water. See reaction. This Otomeje's uh, ordeal is now making a round which is not supposed to because Odumeje is, is not the only or the first or the last man of God that this has happened to. I'm not trying to be sentimental here. I'm not trying to be sentimental here. If you actually know about the very church we are talking about, you will understand the reason why uh, Governor Charles Sundu have to order for the demolition of that very church. Do you understand? It is for his own good and for the good of the people of that very state. If he truly is a good man of God, then he should understand that that very church is sitting on the wrong land. You understand? People sacrifice. The state sacrificed space for water flow. So you cannot go and buy a space where the state has already reserved for water flow and build a church on it. You understand? No, no, no. Let's, let's reason it now. Let's change the content. This is evening news. The controversial Nigerian pastor, Odumeje, has received heavy beating while trying to stop task force from demolition his church in Anambra State. Nine News Nigerian has reported that Governor Chukuma Suludo of Anambra State demolished Prophet Chukuma Ohanemerem Church in Onicha for constituting obstruction. Recall that the church building was among the buildings early earmarked for demolition for falling short of the Anambra building plan. Now, Governor Charles Soludo has promised to make it up with him through compensation, he said. If Governor Charles Soludo is compensating Soludo, then he should be ready to compensate others too. Yes, he should be ready to compensate others too because he is not the only uh, person who they demolish this building. You understand? Let's put man of God away from this. Everybody is a potential preacher and a, put a, and, and, and a potential man of God. Do you understand? And besides, he's not even supposed to challenge the people. He's supposed to reason it. Think about it. If really he, he, he understood the scripture very well, he would know that that very place where his church is being built is, is obstructing other people, is causing, uh, is, is causing disaster. It's causing disaster. And that is why it is very good when you want to buy a land, you have to carry out a proper investigation, ask questions. You need to ask questions. But he never did. He never did. <laughs> My dear people, there is fire on the mountain. There is fire on the mountain. Um, mm. Prayer, uh, Charles, so low. I will say you are not at fault in any way. You are only, I know you are only trying to balance the equation. You are only trying to balance the equation by trying to um, calm, uh, calm or to make it down. Alright, um, we have all heard what uh, Governor Charles Sundu have said.
he has accepted to pay the price despite not committing the atrocity. Because to me, it is only he that commits an atrocity that wants to pay a price. But Sununu has accepted to pay a price which he never commits. <laughs> you understand? He has promised to pay. But to you, is that correct? No, you speak. Is that correct? You know it's not correct, and it can never be correct. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. And you and I are 100% aware of that. You understand? Yeah, I'm 100% aware of that. You get it? Alright, let me hear from you from the outside to know what your take and your opinion on this very broadcast may be. Don't forget to leave down below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.